How y'all doing, Ultra Squad? What's going on, everybody? You know what I'm saying? Look, man. ASAP Rocky answers 18 questions from Rihanna. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> he, stole, he stole my girl. You know, he got her knocked up. You know what I'm saying? See? I'm, I'm fine, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool, you know what I'm saying? I ain't need, hey man, hey, hey, I'm okay. I'm not mad, you know what I'm saying? I'm not mad. I'm not mad, I'm not mad bro, I'm okay. Let's, see. let's get to the video, bro. Hey man, ASAP Rocky answers 18 questions for Rihanna GQ. Let's get right to the video, man, even though he stole my girl. You know what I'm saying? Let's go, let's get right to it. What is your skin type? Handsome. <laughs> see, look, she don't even really like him like that. Come to the... Quiet, you know <laughs> hey GQ, it's Rihanna, and I'm going face to face with ASAP Rocky. All jokes, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, I rock with ASAP Rocky. You know what I'm saying? Ring, 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 ring. What's up, Riri? <laughs> What's up, Rocky? This is the moment where this is the moment. You know what I'm saying? Where it all went down. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, we don't know. Ain't nobody knows except them how long they been going out or messing with each other, rocking with each other, you know what I'm saying? Cool, it's their business, you know what I'm saying? But real talk, though, that's nobody business, you know what I'm saying? Just enjoy it, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully they, you know, hopefully it work out, you know what I'm saying? All positive energy towards them. Let's get it. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm chilling. So I need to ask you the same stuff. What is your favorite? Like they got good energy, though. I just wanted to say the same thing. It means so much in four letters. Yeah. But it's also like, it can mean like really it can, offensive. It can, no, but it can mean like, like you know, I just like drop my, you know, my class of juice or like. Yeah, it could mean like, that. It could also mean that. True, but I like it better. Like, like. Uh, like, yes. A food that you would never eat under any circumstance. Chitlins. I just went to say it. An in. Hey man, hey man, look, look how they, look how they, look how they just, they just insane chitlins. I just want to say, you know what I'm saying? How we're gonna be, gonna be talking. And then, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, for real though, nah, I'm gonna eat chitlins either, bro. What's wrong with, bro? You black and you eat chitlins, bro? Just because you black, bro. Everybody tell me, hey man, you black, bro. No chitlins, bro. I'm not eating no dang pig and testers, bro. What's wrong with you, man? Get out of here, bro. Get out of here, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, let's keep going. Test sign of any animal. Like, that's just like, come on. That's no bueno. <laughs> like, I went to say celery, and then I was like, nah, I could get through that if my life depended on it. Animals. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm with you. Unless it's good for your skin. <laughs> agree to agree. You know what I'm thinking about, bro? You know how, like, when, every, when celebrities be having babies and they uh, make these little fake babies, what they think they're going to look like the baby and they don't look, look like the baby? Bro, I'll be, that, that'd be so annoying, bro. What's wrong with y'all, bro? Y'all dead obsessed with couple babies, bro? All right, the, where's y'all life at, bro? Because some of y'all, y'all do know y'all make channels about uh, celebrity gossip and rumors and all that. You know what I'm saying? It's, which is kind of weird, but hey, people like that, you know? So salute to y'all. Cause y'all y'all getting bread off of it, you know what I'm saying? I just complimented y'all. I, I wasn't trying to do that, but you know, all good. What's the hardest part about working with me? I think the hardest part about working with you is not goofing off and laughing the whole time. Like this is comedy. That's the hardest part. You know, we such people be so cool. It's just hard not to not to laugh. That's all. But it was fun. I know. The hardest part is not having too much fun. You just forget that it's it's still you know. Work at the end of the day. Yeah, well, that's a good answer. What is your self care routine and how do you take care of yourself? Uh, my self care routine would be showering, taking care of my skin. <laughs> he said, uh, showering. Do not, everybody not shower? Although I've been hearing some stuff lately about, like, you know, some celebrities don't be showering because they don't have time. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. All right. Moisturizing, just cleansing myself. Grooming, trimming, anytime I could. You know, it's a pandemic right now, so I've been chilling on all that, but for the most part, yeah. So, <laughs> when you discovered skincare, you were how old? Probably like 14, 15. 
What's the first product you bought? Like, was it a moisturizer or like a, a face wash? Yeah, my first time really getting introduced to like the skincare platform. I think I was like younger and it was through like a, a rinse, Oxine. My mother had it in the drawers. And so like a cleanser? Just, yeah, it was like a cleanser. It was cool. <laughs> That's it was awesome. tight. What's your last oh. purchase on the $20? Condoms. <laughs> I was on the $20. A t-shirt. I bought a t-shirt for like $11. Ooh. It was tight. I came up on it. Yeah. Where does ASAR right, actually which... buy a t-shirt for free $11? I'll take a free t-shirt. My favorite price is free $99. <laughs> yeah. Ain't gonna hold you. What is your skin type? Handsome. So is that like an oily handsome? <laughs> handsome? A combination handsome? Or just like a sensitive, handsome. It's a handsome, handsome, man. You know, handsome, handsome. All right, so is your skin ashy, dry, oily, or sensitive? I would say I have very sensitive skin, for Thanks. sure. So Thanks. do you usually get like uh, really cautious about using certain products and stuff like that when it comes to your skin since it's so sensitive? Yeah, for sure. You know, stuff that's just like too much alcohol based in it or, or way, way too much chemicals, you know, that can break you out even yeah. worse, you know what I'm saying? So for me, it was just like, I had to discover face cleansing and skincare all at the same time when I was a young buck in the shower. Okay, so who's like the first person that you looked up to in terms of skincare in regards to like a man? Skincare is like weird to say that about, but like who have you looked at and try to just emulate your skincare regimens personally? No man. No men really, right? Nah, unfortunately I ain't. I didn't even know that was a thing. Like, let me ask you something. Like, you know how we find out as we get older, like, <laughs> girls love men with, like, manicures and pedicures and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> for real, for real. Is skincare a big thing with, when it comes to women? I mean, women always love men because skin, I mean, come on. But as much as you guys think about your, your nails and your skin, we think about that too. We, we look at that. We enjoy men that take care of their skin their nails because it says a, a lot about like how they'll take care of themselves and the people around them so of course it's a big deal for us hey that's what's up i guess it does reflect a lot about your personality or especially in my that's... household my mother my brothers could not boy he high he high as a kite man look at him they both look high look at rihanna <laughs> have their nails at a certain length, they had to be clean, they had to be short, they had to be filed. My mother was that kind of woman, so like, I, I think I've kind of adopted that point of view from her. <laughs> That's what's up. What was your first red carpet? Same thing. It was MTV. That's a big deal. Straight off the yeah. bat with that? Yeah, my first red carpet was MTV. I know what I had on. I can tell you what I had on. No, I don't need to hear it. I just need to see it. You could describe yeah. it as as I'm seeing it. No, no, no. It was BET. <laughs> it was BET, I think. It was the BET Awards. It wasn't. I, I see I confused it for that year when we... Nah, it was so... It was a month before. It was BET. The first red carpet. Oh, my God. Is this your first red carpet? Black, black, black on black, yeah. So I had right there the Hermes belt on. I had the wrap semi the button no, up. No, you don't have to point out Hermes and wrap. This is you. <laughs> and then I had the uh, the black scale hat on with the. Uh, nah, stop trying the to make it sound dope. With... This is you. you no, know it's trying to come though. Why you trying to come for him like that, you know? Fella. Yeah, that's me. Check me out. You could have used some Fenty skin back then. <laughs> hey. What's your favorite outfit of me? I ain't gonna lie, my favorite outfit of you, the red car. Y'all see how she said that? What's your favorite outfit of me? Oh my god, Ooh, that's all. Don't mind, I just did that. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At the British Fashion Awards earlier this year. Yeah, that's a good look. Really? I ain't gonna look. lie, I like that look. Like, like ever? Like a bro, girls be I swear to God, I'm girls, bro. They really be thinking this girls be downplaying 
a, a good dope picture they be looking when they be looking real good they be like oh my god that's your favorite picture i don't even look that good right there oh my god bro come on now bro stop stop front bro don't play stop playing around man come on now all of my red carpets are like videos that that that's my that's one of my favorite look damn yeah. what you ain't like that one no i love that look i'm just like i'm shocked that that's what you would say it's not like wrath or like rake nah it was fire high tops fire. or low tops it's gonna have to be hot tops. low, low high tops for me what's your favorite shit of watching the tv i watch everything man that's a complex question for a complicated guy man i watch everything Cards. I'll take that back. I might. I, I can say I like. Times. I like to watch cartoons. As weird as it is, mm. the older the better. Vintage weird. cartoons. That's my vibe. I can binge watching those forever. <laughs> What's your favorite vintage cartoons to watch? Like Popeye the Sailor Man, Scooby Doo, obviously the Jetsons, mm. Banana Splits. Wait I used to watch all this stuff. Betty Boop. You know. Stuff like that, but we can't give the sauce away too much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I love Betty Boop. <laughs> Betty Boop, so far. She's so far. How do you stay mentally and inspirationally aligned? I think for me, I'm just more of a people person, you know? To stay mentally and inspirationally in line, I think it, it kind of takes, it starts with the mental. I think you got to be in a good mental space to even allow yourself to be inspired, you know? Cause it's all about like what you said, you know? You gotta allow things into your universe, your world, your space, you know? Yeah. Wow, that's, that's kind of deep. Nah, me and you saying the same, but you know. No, but, that's know. actually better answer than mine. Can I just like, can I ever do my? No. no. <laughs> yeah, man. So like, I just try to keep the mental capacity to stay inspired and not too influenced. Yeah. So what's your favorite product so far from the Fancy Skincare line? I'm gonna have to go with the moisturizer. This and Hey man, it's so crazy because like these are like some of the few people like celebrity wise who can like not make music and still be relevant and popular because they got I guess other stuff going, especially Brianna, she got these lines and all that. She don't even gotta make music, he don't gotta make music. Like he he'll leave for a little second and then come out some like praise the Lord and all that you know what I'm saying just stuff he just come out and then out of nowhere you know they can it's crazy man salute to them visible moisturizer whatever you want to call it yeah I love it yeah. I ain't even gonna lie the mechanism is crazy it's different and it smells good you know thank you put, this, <laughs> put it all over your hands you can't be having no dry hands soaking to nobody you know what I mean. I'll be ashy in between the knuckles and all that. That ain't the vibe, word. When it comes to skincare, what are you packing your travel bag? When it comes to skincare, I pack mostly moisturizers, a little bit of face soap. Uh, yeah, that's really it. I don't really use much toners and stuff when I'm traveling. Really face wipes too. They don't really take much. What do you wish more people were talking about in the beauty industry? I wish more people would talk about in the beauty industry. I would have to say I, w I wish that it was more versatility, diversity, obviously. You know, mm -hmm. I think it's kind of trying to evolve, especially with a person like yourself and what you're doing in amongst the beauty industry. But I do wish that there was way more, you know, versatility throughout it all. You know, I, I feel like everything is very old fashioned and kind of stuck to an old blueprint. You know? yeah. As time evolves, so does you know, the blueprint. Honestly, thank you so much for even being a part of this conversation where we could discuss openly skincare for, for men, for women, for non-binary. We just think everyone with skin deserves to have great skin and I appreciate you yeah. being a part of this conversation, so. Yo, you're more than welcome. The pleasure's all mine. I wanna say thank you for, you know, supporting me at a time when I just came home from jail. Thank you for identifying my beauty as a man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I appreciate you. Like, like for real, for real though, you know. Yeah. Thanks for the opportunity. Well, shout out to GQ. Thank you so much for being involved in this conversation between Rocky and I face to face. This okay. was tight. Thank you so much. Hey, bye. Mm -hmm. bye, Rian. bye Rian. All right, y'all. If y'all want to see the tables turn. All right, all right, okay, all right. ASAP. Look, man, look. Hey, bro. Um.
I hope y'all watch the video, man. You know what I'm saying? If you got any recommendations or other videos, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you leave them in the comments down below. Leave a regular comment. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe, okay? What? All right. I'm out. I'm out. All right, boom.